good evening everyone in this session we'll be discussing about coccydynia tailbone pain and most importantly we'll discuss why the tailbone pain is commonly misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed there i will be seeing a number of patients daily for whom the diagnosis of tailbone has been missed since years they'll be suffering with low back pain because the diagnosis has been missed by many people so let me present my topic why is coccydynia or the tailbone pain commonly missed so the my present topic is dynamic instability of coccyx and it is a missed cause of coccydynia so you will have to understand what is dynamic instability of coccyx when you understand this you will understand why the tailbone pain or coccydynia is frequently missed or underdiagnosed so you will have to understand the concept of unstable tailbone joints tailbone is a coccyx unstable tailbone joints are dynamic coccygeal instability is one of the most common causes of tailbone pain and is largely not diagnosed and this dynamic coccygeal instability is 20 times more common than a coccygeal fracture what is instability instability is is excessive mobility at a joint dynamic instability means an instability which keeps changing with the posture of the patient in coccyx dynamic instability is abnormal movement of coccyx which is absent in standing and it is present during sitting correspondingly patient will have pain while sitting and will be pain free while standing when a patient puts his weight on coccyx while sitting the dynamic instability sets in the coccyx move, moves excessively putting pressure on the coccyx and its ligaments causing excessive pain so let me summarize this slide so dynamic instability is dynamic it is not present always it comes into picture only while sitting and so the patient will also be having pain while sitting observe this picture this is the sacrum s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 these are the five segments of sacrum this last point which is labeled as c1 c1 c2 3 4 these small segments of bone which are down down in between your both buttocks is the coccyx or the tailbone you can observe the normal coccyx as a gentle curve forwards and what is normal mobility of coccyx normally observe this movement the coccyx as a slight movement normal normally coccyx has some mobility and moves slightly forward when you sit so what you have observed just now the coccyx was slightly moving forward this is normal why is this present why has god given this slight movement to our coccyx this small forward movement tucks the coccyx deep in between our buttocks and makes sitting painless and because the movements are small and they are within the physiological range the coccygeal ligaments are adapted to this small movement and they are not strained with this small movements how much is normal physiologically the forward movement is less than 20 degrees did you observe in this video this coccyx has moved abnormally forwards so the normal physiological flexion has become exaggerated and this excessive forward flexion of coccyx puts excessive pressure on ligaments leading to pain so this excessive flexion of coccyx which happens during sitting in some patients causes excessive pressure on the ligaments leading to pain observe this this is reverse in some people instead of moving forwards the coccyx moves backwards while sitting in this people the coccyx literally sticks out and directly hits the hard surface of chair while sitting because it directly protrudes out and is not protected by the cushioning effects of the buttocks 
this repeated trauma causes pain. Observe this. Here, in addition to forward movement, there is gliding or slipping of coccyx below the sacrum. This sliding is also known as subluxation. So this sliding causes abnormal strain on the ligaments and in addition it causes abnormal strain on the sacrococcygeal joint also. This causes pain while sitting. Now, let us answer our question. This dynamic instability is usually missed by physicians. Why? There are few reasons. One, the x-rays are by default ordered in the standing position. As I've explained you before, the dynamic instability is seen only when the patient sits. In standing, the coccyx is normal. So in standing x-rays, the coccyx appears absolutely normal. Suppose the physician is aware of it and he orders for dynamic x-rays in the sitting position, but technical staff are usually not trained. So they fail to take adequate pictures of the coccyx. And in many cases, the routine x-ray which are taking for back pain, they completely exclude the coccyx. Because of the above reasons, the cause of coccydenia is usually missed. And the patient suffers for a long time as the diagnosis missed and will not receive the correct treatment for a long time. So how do you diagnose this? You see this picture. This picture has been taken when the patient is standing. This extra has been taken when the patient is sitting. So in this standing position, the coccygeal x-rays are absolutely normal. But when the patient sits, the coccyx goes into subluxation. You can see the subluxation. The coccyx is slide gliding on the sacrum. And so the diagnosis is evident. So when the x-ray is taken in the sitting position with the correct protocol, the coccyx subluxates and the diagnosis is glaring in the x-ray as seen on the right side. So in this patient, if I am not aware of coccydynia, if I, uh, if I don't ask for dynamic x-rays, that is sit-stand x-rays, this patient, I will not make the diagnosis and the patient is going to suffer forever. And so how to get a dynamic x-rays of coccyx? Obtaining sit-stand x-rays is a big challenge both for the patients and their doctors. Very few radiology centers have even ever even heard of a tailbone x-rays being taken while you are sitting. Sometimes a radiology center will give it a try, but they, la but they lack experience from never having done this test before. This can result in the test being done inaccurately and thus failing to give you reliable results. Even if the radiology technician performs a test properly, the radiologist or the physician has slightly never heard of standing or sitting x-rays and therefore both the radiologist and the physician may be unable to confidently read or interpret your x-rays. So you need to reach out to a medical center which experience in getting this dynamic x-rays done or else routine standings and standing x-rays will be normal. So. So let me complete my presentation. So let me complete my presentation. Let me conclude. If you think you are suffering from tailbone pain or coccydynia, you will have to reach out to medical centers who have experience in diagnosing it and treating it. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Kalyan. I'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon working in Hyderabad. And I'm at Aware Glen Eagles Global Hospital, LB Nagar, Hyderabad. If you feel any of, your, any of your friends are suffering from tailbone pain, do share this video with them. Thank you.